Welcome back to the Run and Rev channel. Up here today, I'm just going to check on. This is a update on the swarm. This is the one that I transferred some uh, framed cat brood the other day to another hive. Now, how do you know when a queen's doing right? Look at that. Solid, buddy. Now, we got honey and nectar on one side, but I had a hatch in these bees a couple weeks ago, supposedly, I think. Not supposedly. They're kind of aggravated. It's late in the evening. These bees right here don't really like to be messed with. But I'm going to tell you something. This queen that I've got in here, I wouldn't take $200 for her. I'm telling you. Wouldn't take two $100 bills for that gal. Let's see what we got right here. She's filling it back up. I'm starting to see some queen cells. Looks like they're working on some. One or two of them in here. I've yet to locate the queen in this hive. Alright, so this is going to be a candidate for splitting soon. Let me see if I can. See that queen cell right there fixing tape shape on the bottom? I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. It's kind of dark out here. This uh this hive's only been in this box about a month. A good month. I think April, the week of April, the field I put it in here. What? Just give you some smoke going. On. These uh, these bees right here are a little testy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I get pine straw free here. <laughs> I'll smoke the hell out of them. Uh, let's see what we got right here. Another full one. You don't get much time in this hive. You gotta, you gotta do your work and get out of it. Cause they don't like being messed with. But they're worth it. I don't know if y'all can see all that or not. See some drone. Sales coming up.
This frame's been in there two days. I'd love to find that queen here. Man, there's just so many bees, it's hard to... Hard to pick her out, they're so small. This Seems like the feral queens are really small compared to Italians or, you know, I love this queen. If I can keep her happy, I'll be able to split this hive two or three times this year. She's working back on filling it up. Solid. Good queen. I just wish I could find her. mess with these much because I don't want to throw them off none. This is the first one I ever caught. So it's kind of special to me and I know that like right now they're getting kind of aggressive. And I really need to be wearing something with these bees. A veil, something. But I didn't really have time. I didn't think I was gonna break into them this late in the evening, but I wanted to see how things were going. I gotta go get a nook tomorrow from uh, Barnyard Bees. David up there, you can check out his YouTube channel. Yeah, she's a good laying queen. queen. All right, guys, don't get upset. I'm putting the duck in there. All right. I don't know why they're... I'm starting to say, I'm pretty sure I've seen some queen cells on the bottom. I just don't know why they would want to throw some up right now. I mean, they got plenty of room. Right. Bees wax near here, everybody.
Alright. Pass the update on Swarm. Been in the box for a month now. Might wind up splitting it this weekend. Might even do a clean with split. I don't know yet. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave a comment. Subscribe. I know the video probably wasn't dead on it because I don't have a cameraman with me, but apologize for it. I just really wanted you to see the difference between a queen you're going to buy for $30 versus a feral queen. It seems like they lay a lot better in a shorter amount of time. But uh, I'll keep you updated on this hive. It's been fun working with them. It's running real. Out. Have a great weekend and don't forget Mother's Day Sunday. Y'all have a good one.